From Ophiosis, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the month of December and is also your birthday month, Ophiosis. So Ophiosis, from the 29th of November, it is your birthday right back until the 17th of December, okay? All right, please remember to like and share, Ophiosis, okay? All right, so I see you're dealing with your mother or your wife or a motherly figure, sister, grandmother in the first week. What is coming out with this woman? Um, um, I see you decide no longer to participate in whatever this person is doing. You also recognize that this uh, Taurus woman is really devious. A lot of data and information is now coming out about a Taurus woman. They're recognizing how devious this Taurus woman is and was. A lot of you in the second week is trying to find inner strength to deal with your mother or your wife or your grandmother. You now recognize what a young, uh, what a old uh, Aries Lee or Sagittarian have done. People are now getting to the bottom of what an old Aries Lee or Sagittarian man. This man is 60 years and older, what he and his wife have done. And I see um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is going to be using the sword of truth against this man and what he has done. Then I see you're going to be victorious and successful. Ophiosis, you're moving forward. It is about overcoming um, the problems that you were dealing with. And a lot of you, Ophiosis, was dealing with problems uh, um, with a Sagittarian and a Leo. Whoever the Sagittarian and this Leo is and was, you were dealing with problems from a Sagittarian and a Leo, and you're going to be overcoming this. I see you're overcoming a situation and moving forward. I see some sort of a new contract is coming in for you, Ophiosis. Yes, and you are going to be collaborating with other people, groups of people. You're going to be collaborating with groups of people. So this is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. Um, and this is good. A lot of you, Ophiosis, is going to be recognizing what a cancer and Sagittarius have done. Okay. A new contract is coming in. A new contract for a um, the nurture for someone, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn between the age of 18 and 45. Some sort of a new contractual agreement. And I see the conflicts is going to be over. The conflicts is definitely, definitely going to be over. So I'm looking at this new contractual agreement. It's a situation where some of you, Ophiosus, is going to be... A, Marrying again or marrying. Okay, so we're going to be looking at that. So I see um, a lot of you Ophios decided not to work out the situation with a cancer or with your wife or your partner. Um, I see a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person is going to be giving up a whole lot of information and is going to be speaking. Um, they now recognize what an uh, Aries woman and her husband has done. I see a lot of you are moving forward, leaving um, a network. They recognize what a Aries man, um, it can be an Aries and a Leo man have done. They're now recognizing. They now recognize that a Leo man together with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man have done something that was not above water. Truth is now coming out. And I see you, Ophiosus, are ending some sort of a contractual agreement that a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn person have and um, ending the conflicts. So, um, whatever is transpired, I see that a lot of you are going to be um, ending some sort of a conflict between you and a Cancer. It's as if you no longer want to be with a Cancer. A whole lot of communication came out and a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person gave a lot of data and information about an Aries man and the dishonesty of this Aries man. A lot of you are having relationship problems. Relationship is here, okay? So let's see what is transpiring because I see this new contract is coming up for a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but let's see what is happening. Uh, so I see they reject they're rejecting uh, Aries woman. Whoever this Aries woman is, I see they recognize how really devious an Aries woman is. 
and they are rejecting a Aries woman. Okay, a judgment call came down on a, a, a old Aries woman. They recognize what this Aries woman have done, and they are rejecting this Aries woman. So a lot of you, this this is an Aries woman, an older Aries woman that you guys have been dealing with. And this older Aries woman is really deceptive. It, it, it's coming. And I see you're just rejecting this person and just um, letting this person, you recognize that the person is coming. Okay, the person is not nice. The person is a snake. The person have two face. Okay. Um, when we look at your money house, I see strength. A lot of you are trying to find inner strength to deal with your financial status. Okay. A whole lot of strength. And I see this has been going on for a very long time. Okay. And this is going to be ending because I see some sort of a resolution. A tower moment is going to be coming down where some of you were struggling financially. It is going to come to an end. A lot of you who were str struggling financially is going to come to an end okay yeah the struggle is going to come to an end all right so when we look at your environment some of you could be traveling I see it's as if uh, um, um, a hmm a Aries or a Leo um, is wants to open up to you but you're not interested in this person it's as if uh, no I don't feel comfortable with this, you. So I see um, this could be a Leo person is trying to open up to you and trying to connect with you. But I see you're closing off your heart because you're not comfortable with this person. So there is uh, like a corporation um, that is asking you. Um, this corporation is an international corporation that is asking you to relocate or is offering you a job in another country. But I see you, um, you cover up your heart chakra because you're not feeling comfortable with this corporation for whatever the reason is. Okay. Um, the separating, the separating, a marriage is coming to an end. A contractual agree. Um, this is more a marriage because it's in your family. Uh, a lot of you ladies is going to be getting some sort of a um, that the separation. So a lot of you ladies is going to be getting some sort of a documentation that your husband um, wants a separation. So some of you ladies is going to be getting it. Okay. They yeah. You're going to be getting and finding out that your husband wants a separation or your husband doesn't want to be um, or you're going to be finding out that a cancer man is going to be separated. OK. All right. Trickery. They now recognize what a Leo has done. So some of you that has a Leo friend or a Taurus friend, they recognize what a Taurus and a Leo have done. They recognize that these people are trick, use some sort of a trickery to gain um, some um, a house or a, a, a bank or a house. They recognize that these people are very tricky. A Leo man, they now recognize what a Leo man, that a Leo man um, got a lot of money out of a bank by tricking the people at the bank and uh, um, using the people they they recognize that a Leo man use trickery to um, get money okay and a bank financial institution is going to be recognizing that a Virgo and a Leo man create some sort of a, a disillusionary situation in order to get a lot of money out of a bank so Leo people I see the Leo man is here so they're recognizing that a Leo and an Aries uh, had created trickery and had accumulated a lot of money on the false pretend. A lot of you, Ophiosus, a miracle is coming up for some of you, Ophiosus, with a whole situation or a business situation. Yes, a miracle is going to be coming up where some of you, Ophiosus, an Aries man, is going to be caught. And finally, you recognize uh, an end for an Aries man, and you, Ophiosus, are going to be so happy. Promotion is coming up for you, Ophiosis. It's as if you, Ophiosis, know that 
um, an Aries man was not very honest and you have been hoping, hoping, hoping for people to find this out. Now, gossip, a whole lot of gossip, your partner or gossip over your relationship, gossip over you and your family. I see a resolution. So this is good. If you have relationship problem, a resolution is going to be coming in. I see a lot of you have been communicating, communicating and trying to speak and communicate, um, having conversation, trying to resolve uh, relationship problems. Okay. Um, I see an end is here for a Aries and a Pisces. Some sort of a contractual agreement with an Aries and a Pisces is now over. Then bittersweet for a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. A young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person wanted some sort of a contract. It is not going to be coming in. Bittersweet, yes. They recognize that a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person stole some sort of a communication. This person is between the ages of 18. Uh, no, this person is between the ages of, uh, yeah, 18 and 50. Bittersweet for this person. Bittersweet. Um, they recognize a devastated situation. Yes, they are coming down on a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man, the nurture of material. And they recognize that the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn man has done something and created some sort of an illusionary. It, it doesn't have to be a man. It can be a man or a woman that this person creates some sort of an illusionary situation. They're now recognizing. So they're really coming down on a tiff that a, um, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person have done. Okay. Joy, happiness and joy um, for you, uh, Ophiosis. Some sort of a data and information came out that bring an end to a Libran. Uh, you really bring down the tower on a Libran. You recognize some sort of a whole of the data and information came out about the Libran. You are so happy. You are glad that Libran is now definitely out of your world. So that is good. Um, again, the, the energy of an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Some sort of a communication is coming in. And the communication is that a t um, your boss, some sort of a communication from your boss is going to be coming in. Now, this sort of truth is in the reverse. So you got to be careful about the communication from people in authority. So people in authority could be communicating with you. But be aware of the communication um, because it could be a boss, but the information might not be correct. So, um, Capricorn, um, a Capricorn man is communicating something to you, but be aware because this Capricorn man could be creating some sort of an illusionary situation around you. Okay. Growth. I see a lot of you are going to be networking, working with other groups of people, and this is going to be creating a wonderful stability for yourself, okay? I see success with some sort of a teamwork, network that is coming out. You are going to be extremely, extremely successful, okay? So that is wonderful, yes. Your wishes and dream is going to be coming in. So your lack um, of ophiosis is in the house of... Uh, um, the, the 11th house and the 11th house is luck around groups of people, networking, working with groups of people, um, connecting with groups of people. That is where your luck is in the 11th house. So it is around groups of people. The house of karma, you're trying to work out your karma, listen to your in, in, intuition over a, um, Leo person, whoever this Leo person is. Um, this Leo person created a whole lot of conflicts. Listen to your intuition. Um, you are ending karma with a Leo person. You're ending conflicts with people. The uncertainty that was there is no more for you, but for the Leo, uncertainty is there for a Leo. You, Ophiosis, are going to be getting a, a new start to move forward in your world, but for a Leo, it's not going to be happening 
for this Leo. So a Leo and an Aries created a whole lot of conflicts for you, Ophiosis. A whole lot of conflicts. These, this, you know, these people rain on your parade and created a whole lot of conflicts, a whole lot of problems for you. And now you are going to be getting a new start, but they are not. So you got to be aware of a Aries woman. This person is very two-faced, okay? Extremely two-faced. A tower moment is coming down on a Leo in your life. Uh, 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 yeah, a Leo in your life because a bank financial institution is going to be recognizing that a Leo man and an Aries man had collaborated together and has took a whole lot of money on the false pretend. So this is good. I see you are going to be happy to get some sort of a data and information and recognize what was going on and what a Libran have done. It's like you found out and get some sort of a data and information about a Libran, a Libran in another place, in another city. And this is what is, you're so happy about this. In your house of reputation, your boss, if your boss is a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person, they could be finding your boss and you're going to be getting this position. Um, be aware of whatever information a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn person, a man that is, give to you because this man, um, you know, uh, creation, uh, um, com communication, a lot of you obviously, and um, you gotta be aware of what this Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn man is saying to you. I end this here for an uh, Aries and Leo business. They recognize that an Aries and a and Leo person has been um, really co-creating together and has been um, taking money from a lot of people and taking other people money and earnings, okay? Um, then we are looking at the house of environment and I see uh, um, changes is coming up um, and some of you remember, some of you are going to be uh, thinking, you know, you know, I want to go home for Christmas, uh, what I should do. I see a, a Gemini or some sort of a government um, corporation is uh, trying to open up their doors to you, but it's as if you all feel, all right, you know, you, you get a promotion, but you all feel this kind of, um, you know, you're moving up the ladder, but you, you don't communicate with people. You just uh, move up the ladder. You do your work and then you get out. It's as if you're closing your, off your heart to some sort of, uh, um, corporation. It's like a corporation overseas. It's like, um, this corporation, you're moving up the ladder in this corporation, but you, you close off your heart, okay? It's, it's as if uh, you know that things are not good in this corporation. So I see um, a corporation, and this 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 corporation wants you on their team, okay? If you um, were in a relationship or a marriage. And someone is coming back. A whole lot of gossip is here. And someone is coming back for some, you know, someone, you were in a relationship with someone and they're coming back. No, nope, 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 nope. There's a lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people are gossiping over your relationship or gossiping over you and your husband or wife. A lot of gossip. These people, you know, people need to find something to do. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of women, your husband is going to be dropping some sort of a bombshell on you. Um, a family member, if you um, do business with a family member, it is about a contract and some sort of a disillusion over a contract of a cancer. It's as if people are, are asking, how did this cancer get this contract? How in God's name this cancer got this contract? Okay? Because there's a whole lot of disillusion over a contract what a cancer has. They are now recognizing that a theft was created and they're looking at this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. This is a Taurus person. Okay, bittersweet for a Taurus person. Um, there is a, um, a conflict, so... 
um, bittersweet for a Taurus person, bittersweet for a Capricorn person. Um, they now recognize that a Taurus and a Capricorn person co-created a situation and stole some sort of a data and information. Um, so they created some sort of a contractual agreement that was not based on reality. So I see a whole lot of bittersweet for them. Your intuition about Aaliyah was right on track. You were correct. And it's as if a lot of you Ophiosis was not trusting a situation with Aaliyah. You're recognizing that you are 100% on track. You felt it. You know that this Leo was very deceptive. You're going to be, um, you're going to be happy. Okay. So the blocks to your money is going to be, um, um, removal. And your happiness lies with group of people. Anything that you're networking with groups of people, that is where your happiness lies. And it is going to be good. So the 12th house with Aquarians, uh, authority people, if you do work in that field, you are going to be very, very successful. Okay. And you're going to be moving up the ladder. But it's as if, if you are... Um, civil servants and you're moving up the ladder, you're recognizing that a lot of managers are not above water. So you Ophiosis, um, you know, you're moving up the ladder, but you're recognizing that a lot of people are shady. Okay. That they're, they have duality to them, that they're not comp, they're not doing the work. So you're going to be recognizing, whoa, these managers are really shady. Okay. Really shady. A lot of you that have friends that is a Taurus, Leo, and Aries, really tricky, tricky people. Trick, but they're going to be caught, okay? All right, so in the first week, what you guys have, the altar. So create a halter. And as you create a halter, pray this Aries woman out of your life. This Aries woman has two-faced. I see some sort of a reject. Some of you are going to be rejecting an Aries woman. Two-faced. Could be your wife or your mother or your mother-in-law. Two-Face. The camel boy is in the second week. The camel boy is coming in to end um, some sort of a problematic situation and to end the conflicts, uh, um, end and clear your money, uh, your second house up. A new contract is coming in, sacred union. So some sort of a new contract is coming in. It's as if you Ophiosis hope for a new contract. It could be... Hope for a new business contract to come in. But it's as if you hold your heart, whether or not it is going to be coming in. Yes, you are being protected. Yes, this new contract is going to be coming in. This is, uh, um, this is uh, the yes that is saying this new contract is as if you apply for a, a job, you want to apply for a job and uh, you apply or you apply for a position, you're waiting, but you don't know. And it's as if you're like, am I going to get this um, new contractual agreement? Yes, you are going to get it, Ophiosis, okay? So that is the universe coming in to say, that, no need to worry. Stop holding your breath if you're going to be receiving it. The spiral dancer, the energy of the spiral dancer is in the last week. And the spiral dancer is uh, diffusing the spiral um, the, that was created around you. The spiral dancer is diffusing a whole lot of spiral, a whole lot of contractual agreement, a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness, a whole lot of, uh, um, this is like people created a whole lot of, uh, deceptiveness around you. Um, the spiral dance is coming in the fourth week to remove it. I do love you guys. Please like and share. Namaste until next time.